Hey guys, so the year is 2023 and we're installing the 550-937 kit in the Fox. So I just want to go over some differences between the 937 kit and the 937F kit, which has been discontinued by Holly due to emissions and carb regulations and all that jazz. So we're just going to cover a couple things that are included and not included. I didn't do enough due diligence when purchasing this kit, so I didn't understand when I received my kit when I was watching videos online of guys on YouTube installing this, like Brule and a couple other guys as well. So I'm like, well, they got all these sensors and I don't have any of these sensors. What I did is I cut them out of my old harness, but there's other solutions for that. I'll give you part numbers just to buy the sensors. For me in Canada, sometimes it's a little more difficult to find sensors. A dollar is never really that good and getting stuff here in a timely manner does does add time. And I just kind of want to get this thing going. For my application, I had done... The, the Novi, uh, Novi setup here as well with some 60-pound injectors. It was a stock ECU, stuff like that. So for me, it made sense getting the Holly so I could re at least run like a bass tune and get the car started in my garage without having to worry about tuning and stuff like that. Um, re or taking it to a shop to get tuned, towing it there. So a couple sensors that are not included here. First sensor is going to be your manifold temperature sensor. I cut mine out the whole harness here. Another sensor that's not included with your kit as well is going to be your coolant temperature sensor. Once again, I cut that out the old harness. Uh, the throttle position sensor. It's also not included with the 937 kit as well there. So you'll need to cut that as well. However, MF Customs, Danny Kilburn, I believe his name, uh, that is his company. And he sells some of these adapters for it as well, which is phenomenal. And a huge shout out to him who helped me quite a bit. And the reason why he had helped me is because I'm running the uh, original Ford IAC with this plug here. And on the Holly system, obviously that's not the plug that goes into it. And so basically I cut the plug off and he ran me through on what I needed to do to get this car going to connect it so it communicates with the Holly. So, so far you got your manifold temperature sensor, coolant temperature sensor, throttle position sensor, which I'm just going to cut and hardwire it and your intake air temperature sensor. And the last thing that's not included with that Holly kit, it's also going to be your bracket for mounting it down. So that whole 937F kit would have been perfect for the application. But once again, I had not seen anyone on YouTube referencing the 937 kit alone on its own. Also, I'm going to link both instruction manuals in the video as well here. Uh, you'll see that the 937F kit is, is much more concise and detailed, and obviously that is because it's for the Fox body or Ford specific application uh, opposed to this other kit here. Because what I'm running to, into issues as well is some of these wires aren't even long enough to reach where I need them to go. So I'm going to have to extend some wires as well. Sorry, the last thing that's not included is the uh, TFI connector as well. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you guys are running dual sync. This is just my startup. Here's where I'm at. I bought these parts a couple years ago, minus the 937 kit, which I just bought recently. So one thing that I did run into as well, because I'm running the stock IAC and the Holly not being compatible with the plug, because it's specific for a GM plug there, uh, Danny from the Facebook page for the Holly Terminator X Fox Facebook page had reached out to me and saved me so much nightmare headache. Everyone's like... Go ahead and get the Fiesta IAC. And uh, so for me here in Canada, they're all six weeks out. So it really wasn't feasible. Or go get the AccuFab one. Same thing. Canadian, that whole kit was 500 bucks, And I'm running a BBK throttle body. And I needed more than a slight modification for what I've seen. So I'm just going to tell you what you have to do here. In case you do have the 937 kit and you do have your Ford IAC. So in your pins here, one, two, and three of your J block here, I think it is. You remove your... One, two, and three pins there. Number three was this gray pin, which doesn't get reconnected back in there. Number one went to the number three hole there. And number two went down to your J20 there at the bottom. So that was part of it for the ECU side. And then the other side of that, which is going to happen here, is basically... So here's my stock one that is here. And uh, this is the original Ford one, or the one that came on my vehicle. Thanks for focusing. Go fuck myself there. Come on. Anyways, so basically what's going to be happening here is the, uh, the purple and blue wire and the purple and yellow wire are only the ones that are going to be used now. And now that the ECU knows how to communicate with that, it's going to be able to run and function with my current setup. But once again, Danny 
at MF Customs has a lot of these things set up good to go. And if you're in the States, it's going to be a lot easier just buying these parts that you need to do the job. Okay, so let's just get a recap of sensors that you're going to need to buy if you are going Holly 2023-550-937 kit. Because sensors that are going to be missing for you that you're going to need to buy is going to be your manifold temperature sensor, your coolant temperature sensor, a TFI harness if you are running your TFI distributor there. Also the uh, fuel pressure sensor to uh, go in your Schrader there to connect to the Holly. Your intake air control uh, sensor as well, which is different because it's on a GM plug, not the Ford OEM plug. Your throttle position sensor as well, which you're going to need to either cut or, as I said, consult uh, with MF uh, Customs there as well. Um, as you see, these sensors are they're different, so you're going to need to cut those out there. And your bracket for mounting the Holly there. I'm going to leave... Uh, the description of the sensors you're going to need in the, in the description of the video as well and a link to where to purchase them and a link especially to Danny uh, of MK Customs shit, MF Customs, my apologies Danny there as well also I will drop the instructions for the 937F kit as they were just a little bit more specific uh, when you are installing it into a Fox I'm a pitchers kind of guy so, uh, you know, I saw my name in crayons. I use crayons when I write stuff. That's just me. That's just how I operate. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a stellar day. And hopefully your install goes smoother than mine without all the bullshit. All right. Zippity doo -dah. Sorry, there is one last thing I did miss, which is actually kind of crucial here. If you are running the Ford IAC, you will need to get the laptop cable as well because programming the IAC you cannot do it through the touch screen that is provided in the kit you will need to use the laptop to uh, do some programming for that now also uh, I'm aware that Anderson Motorsports they do create a kit which uh, they source all these parts for you however for me that kit Canadian shipped here would have been closer to 4,000 I spend around 2,000 on the 937 kit uh, but yeah I just want to cover that again there that's it bye